Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today I have my Theory Moogler scents. I have about seven of them and they are all things that I bought within mostly the past two months. One I did have before that and that is the first one that I purchased which is Aura. And I got this one because it was so unusual. I thought the bottle one was absolutely gorgeous. I do love to purchase perfumes based on bottles, but also the scent of this is unlike anything else in my collection and anything that I've really smelled before. It does have rhubarb leaf in it, so that I think is part of the reason why it is so different and attractive to me but it's just it's a lovely gourmand that has it's not like overly gourmand like some other scents it has more depth to it but oh my gosh I love this one and it has such great lasting power as well I could smell it you know 10 hours later I could still smell it and still was enjoying the scent the next one in my collection is alien and this is just the little one ounce size and it is so cute. I love the bottles for these and that is part of the reason why they were purchased for me in the first place. My mom purchased this and the next one that I will show you as well. And I just, I really like this set too. It's grown on me when I first smelled Alien a few years ago. I was not the biggest fan of it, but it has definitely grown on me as my tastes in perfumes have expanded. I found that that's really something that has occurred lately. I'm getting into more scents and a variety of scents as well. The next one in my collection is Alien Fusion. This is a limited edition. This was last year's limited edition. So 2018, I believe. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me down below, please. And this one is really nice. This one was also a gift from my mom. She saw them and just thought they were so cool. So she bought them. And this one's a little lighter than the Alien, but it still has a, it's still, you can tell it's an Alien scent. It still has that DNA in there. And it is another one that I really enjoy. I'm actually, like my summer scents, I'm kind of trying to put some of my perfumes into climate controlled storage right now so that they stay a solid temperature during the summer because it gets really hot and I don't have central air conditioning in my house so i am going to be putting all almost all of my perfumes into climate controlled storage over the summer so that they stay very temperate so that they, it doesn't get too hot on them and just start degrading the scents so these are ones that i will be keeping out my almost all there's the one that's coming up that will be going into climate controlled storage but the rest of them are all going to be my summer scents that i'm planning to wear this next one is Flora Futara. This is this year's limited edition, and I purchased this one at Ulta with my 20% off coupon, which is a great way to get scents. That's actually how I got Aura as well. I used my 20% off at Ulta. They come out a few times a year where they have 20% off of all prestige and fragrance, and that's when I always pick up a couple of scents, the other two, my mother had coupons for her birthday for Macy's and that's when she purchased those because she thought the bottles were cute. So she hoped that I liked them because she wanted the bottles. So I, I'm assuming that once I finish all of these, that they will become the property of my mother, the bottles at least. This one and the uh, Fusion, these are not refillable, but Alien and Aura are, which is really neat. So this is what it looks like. This one is really pretty. This one is more floral because obviously it's the name. So it is a more floral scent and it is a lovely one too. I love the bottle. One that I have not had a chance to try out yet because it's one of my newest ones and I just barely finished my 30 and 30 that should be coming up. It's either already up or it will be up soon. This is Alien O Sublime and this was a limited edition I believe in 2017 and Sephora had these in store and I was going to pick it up there and then I found Fragrance.net or FragranceNet had them for about half the price so I did pick this one up. This one I need to spray really fast. So this one has 
has more depth than the Futara, Flora Futara and the Fusion. It's a more akin, I think it's closer to the original Alien, but it does kind of have, I'm, I'm getting a slight grape scent as well as I just sprayed it. So that's the next one in my collection. The final Alien in my collection is the one that is still in its box. And honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce this and not butcher it. I'm sure I've butchered other words already today, though. This is the Alien Musk Mysterious. It's the Oriental Collection from Alien, and it has a very different box than the other ones. The other ones have the standard perfume box, and the other ones come with a code that you can enter on Moogler.com. But this one has the lid that pulls off, and then it has the mirrored packaging in there and the bottle. So it's very fancy. I am keeping it in the bottle, or in the box for that reason. But also because it is not my favorite scent. This one is a heavy oriental. This is a three ounce. The other ones were two ounces that were limited edition. And this one is available on Moogler's site as well as Fragrance Net which is where I picked this one up for about $50. The other one, my last one was about 40. So that is what it looks like. It is a very heavy oriental and I'm not the biggest fan of heavy orientals. So it's not my favorite, but I do love the bottle and ended up purchasing it because of the bottle. All right, the final scent that I have, put that back in the box before I drop it, is an angel scent, and this is the only angel that I own. I'm not a big fan of angel. I've smelled it a few times and it's just nothing that really appeals to me, but this one did. This is the Eau Croiser, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is an Eau de Toilette, the other ones are Eau de Parfums. And this one is a limited edition for 2019. So if you are interested in it, go get it now because it won't be available for long, unfortunately. And this one it smells so good. This is a really citrusy, bright scent. And the main note that I smell is grapefruit. And when I smelled this, I it, I was sold. I had to get it. So that is what it looks like, what it's, um, the packaging looks like. I love the ombre effect of the bottle as well. So, and I love that all of the bottles from Moogler are so different than anything else in my collection. Anyway, let me know what Moogler scents you have. Do you own any? Which ones are your favorites? Which ones do you not like? Do you have recommendations for me? Let me know down below. I hope you are all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.